we have been preparing a massive project of 100 of every clue from beginners to elites. Last video, I delve into a huge part of this project by completing the barrels log in order to get a chunk of the elite clues done. Even completing the barrels log wasn't even enough though for 100 elites. However, in this episode, we have finally prepared all 500 clues. You will see exactly how I went about getting all the clues. I had to get really creative for this project and use many different methods for each type of clue. So you will see my ventures collecting these 500 caskets and see what we get from them. I try my best to passively get as many of these clues as possible in an effort to maximize my limited time on this project. Some methods will be centered on if can to get a bulk of these clues. I will talk about how I got the clues by type to keep it easier to follow. Some methods though end up giving multiple types of clues so I'll mention those probably more than once if they made a big impact. A massive motivation for this project was the fact that a lot of my clue scroll items I've gotten is not even in the law because I did them many years before the law came out. And I've been enjoying doing certain types of collection log activities so this is like the perfect time to go ahead and refill a lot of these slots because it's going to be free as heck slots. So for the easiest clue types, the beginners, most of these came from AFK woodcutting at Redwoods and AFK fishing. Post forestry update, however, I felt like Redwoods gave a lot less clues, specifically the elite clues. So that was a big reason why I decided to swap to AFK fishing. Has anyone else noticed less clues at Redwoods or is it just me? Please let me know in the comments. I did a variety of AFK fishing methods because I thought it would be more fun to get these beginner clues while also getting the big fish collection log items, which means things like big char, big swordfish, and big bass. While I was doing some AFK skilling for them clue squirrels, I tried out this new MMORPG on my phone called Dungeon Hunter 6. This game is the best phone game I've played because it actually feels like an MMO. You can move freely around during combat and interact with actual players in the various areas. The combat is fun and engaging as you have full control over the movements and different skills cover different scenarios like single DPS, mobbing, or powerful long cooldown skills. Also, the game is super new friendly as it seamlessly allowed me to progress my character while it also taught me things about game mechanics and game lore. There are also five classes to choose from, and I chose Magician as my first character. He starts off with some really solid long range movesets like a damage over time area attack, extended beam attack, and many more. Like other MMOs, you can upgrade your character's gear, skill trees, and various other aspects, like lieutenants. You can obtain allies to assist you in combat, even boss enemies you defeat have a chance to become permanent allies to help you during battle, called lieutenants. There's also multiplayer content as well, such as raids and guild wars, to really fit that MMO vibe. Dungeon Hunter 6 is available on Android and iOS. Start your new adventure in Dungeon Hunter 6 now, because if you use my promo link in the description or by scanning the QR code on the screen, you get $50 worth of items for free to jumpstart your adventure. See you in battle, spare kissed hero. When I did fish sharks and swordfish for clues and the giant fish, I went ahead and made the crystal harpoon because it gives me a 35% increased fishing speed on harpoonable fish, speeding up the process massively. Too bad though the bass fishing was big net fishing, so the harpoon didn't count for that. I also did all the fishing at the fishing guild because it gives an invisible plus 7 boost, further improving my fishing speed. I also have the fishing barrow to make this even more AFK by letting me hold twice the amount of fish. Additionally, I have a max cape so I can actually just bank at the crafting guild deposit box and using the fishing guild tully back to which is a bit faster than banking the normal way. Alright guys, I've done a little testing here just to see the rates. Uh, we got 130 or so sharks an hour which is really good because when i wasn't using any harpoons just bar fishing i was getting about a hundred so this is nice it's over a 30 percent increase in speed as you can see this northern part no sharks here that's why we stay on the southern pier no freaking way guys on my day off where i've just only been fishing here and there i got two big sharks this thing procced i'm pretty sure let me uh turn off the filters uh, let's see, does it? Yep, Rada's Blessing able to catch an extra fish. And the extra fish I catch is the big shark. I still have like 40 more beginners to get. I could just get the uh, large swordfish collection lock slot while I get some beginner clues and stuff. 
I don't know how fast it's going to be to get beginner's clues off of this fishing. Holy shit, it's so fast. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to be doing clues more than I fish at this rate. I just got back from the clue that I just did. Lazar. Oh, right, right, right. This one. Oh, there we go. I uh, have some taps from Wilderness Slayer. There we go. Comes in handy for this clue. Dude, no freaking way, bro. I got the big swordfish. Literally the first five minutes I log into RuneScape. There is one more fish, actually, that I could get. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use the Crystal Harpoon's uh, passive effect, though, because this fish unfortunately is big nets the big base big bass is from big net fishing finally got to net beginners and uh, we've only gone like five six beginners so far doing big net fishing they're really uh rare to get actually doing big net compared to like doing uh, harpoon fishing but we still haven't gotten the big bass hey we got it let's go he wide to the french chat homies but look let's see how many bass we caught since yesterday okay so we did 600 since yesterday so definitely over a thousand for sure i think i had like six thousand when i started so yeah probably like two thousand or something and the crazy part is i still need some more beginners um i think i'm just gonna get these seven just from afk red boots though all right, well, this is my random loot from doing all this fishing. Jeez, uh, I, I don't really do anything with these fish, so I'm just going to drop them. Oh, they picked it up. Yes, I'm glad it didn't go to waste. Moving on, we have the easy tiers of clues. This tier was pretty straightforward. I mostly just AFK woodcutting fishing like the beginner clues, but I did get some from Desert Treasure 2 bosses because they drop easy to elites for some reason. A bulk of it just came from pickpocketing hand members towards the end. Easy clues are incredibly fast to get from head members, so I decided to finish the 100 easies last, so I can easily just speak like these whenever I want. For head members though, I would just do them as I go and try to keep my inventory relatively spacious, so I don't need to constantly switch gears between getting easies. I just use my mask cave, diary cave, and quest cave to get to pretty much everywhere I need to go for the easy clues. One of many easy clues from these hand members. Let's get to it. Oh, are you serious? Oh, I can pick lock this door, no. Right. What? No way, I have to do it this way? Oh. Oh, there you go. Such a... So much effort, man, just to do this one little easy step, man. Holy. Alright, guys, so you see this quest cape here? I actually don't have it unlocked. And it's important that I talk about this right now because I'm doing so many clues right now, as you know. And the amount of times I have to use fairy rings to do these clues is actually insane. Now, if I get my quest cape unlocked, I can just use the quest cape teleport to get close to the fairy ring and just use that instead. Because I could go to my house, of course, for the fairy ring, but the problem is it's definitely slower because you gotta go through this long loading time. So every time I gotta go to my house, it just, you know, adds up. So I might as well just complete the last quest that I haven't done. Uh, it's called Garden of Death. There we go, guys. We did it. It's going to be huge. Look at this. Look how close it is. Boom, right? Instant, no delay, minimal delay, like as little delay as possible. Looking forward to doing some clues with this. Jump for joy to Zar weapon shop. My favorite telly, dude, the Tazar Mech telly with the diary cape. Oh, PSL. So good for clue scrolls. So it turned out that there's a few stash units I just never made when doing these easy clues. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish building them all. All right, guys, we've gone to the 80s of the easy clues. 19 more to go. Damn, this one place is really annoying to get to. I mean, you got minigame teleport, but you can only use it every 30 minutes. And unfortunately, Nexus, you can't put the Kazar teleport in the Nexus at my house. So uh, I think I'll probably just... Actually, uh, wear a mud battle staff, uh, bring water runes, law runes. Because it takes way too much time otherwise to just run there. I'm a genius. Keeping the easy clues fun by trying to figure out the best tellies to get to certain clue spots. And this one here, the Falter Chainmill, is uh, best access, I guess, with a crafting cape. Because there's a shortcut by the wall. 
I haven't used this little tunnel in years, probably, but this is actually perfect for this particular step. Oh, actually, you know, Fallout Park is pretty good, too. Fallout Park gets you pretty close. And uh, you can also talk to the, the Celia lady, the music lady, too. Yes. Oh, boys, we're 90. 90 easies. 10 more to go. Working on all these clues made me realize that there are a bunch of spots that I kind of have a bit of a hard time getting to. I like to keep it simple and just do it through my house. So we're adding all of the teleports pretty much to the nexus. So things like the mine altar, teleport to the monkey dungeon, Frankenstein's castle one, and a few others. Those are really good for a bunch of different clues. Next is the medium and hard clues. I'll explain both together because I did such an interesting AFK method allow me to get equal amounts of medium and hard clues at the same time the main method in which i got these clues was using the venator bow that i got from muspa at the Dagonaz and jelly room in the Karen catacombs they're right next to each other conveniently the venator bow essentially makes killing the Dagonaz and jelly super afk as it is multi both drop their respective clues at a 1 in 128 Super happy that the Venerable ended up being quite useful and have plenty of charges to keep using it. Also, the Venerable did solid damage, so I was able to kill these mobs super quickly. It was probably around 30 minutes of AFK to get a medium from Dags and a hard clue from Jellies. Agonauts were super nice because with the Bone Crusher, you gained some prayer back too. This method did take a toll on my prayer potions, but it wasn't too bad with some prayer gear on. Absolutely enjoyed this process. I also got some nice tone pieces and ancient shards too on the side. The rest of the medium and hard clues came from good old AFK skilling mentioned previously and some occasional DT2 bosses. Sometimes fire gave me some hard clues too when I AFK for blood shards. Oh, there it is, boys. There it is. We got the hard clue. Yep. Yeah, this plan is working out really, really well. But yeah, I am keeping track of the charges. Uh, we'll see how long it's going to take to run out of these charges. I do have a lot more charges that I can put on the bows, so... Uh, yeah, we will figure that out. That'll be a cool little bit of info for this type of grind. If you're doing anything similar. Oh, what? Already? Oh, my days. Holy shit. Yeah, this is going by pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, this right, I can definitely uh, increase my medium hard clue rates several times in a day versus woodcutting. That's for sure. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, finally got a medium clue. Oh, man. That, that took a while. All right, let's go AFK some jellies. It's fun, actually. Just going from one AFK spot to another. Okay, I can get used to this. I'm so glad I did the Devout Boots grind and the Ring of the Gods grind last year, back to back. Because we are really taking hard advantage of these uh, items right now. You know, for the prayer, uh, duration boost, and Ring of the Gods. So nice, because uh, I don't even have to bring my max cape. I can just gain the extra prayer points from the prayer potions and of course the insane prayer bonus too. Watch me moonwalk. Damn, we're getting uh, hard clues and totems as well, guys. Yeah, these tones are coming in. Yeah, you bet your booty cheeks. I'm going to be doing some Skultizo content in the future. All right, we're almost done with using the charges that I started with. I believe I started with what, like 20,000 or something? Let's see how many clues I ended up doing. 29 mediums if you include this, and 29 hearts. 1,000 charges for two clues. Look at this, I have so many Ancient Essence. We're gonna charge this back up, by the way. So yeah, I have uh, 187,000 Essence left. So that's way more than enough charges to get the remainder of the clues and still have a ton left over. We did 15 mediums and hard clues today, as you can tell here on the chat. But I need to very soon stop doing this method because what's going to happen is if I hit 100 hards and mediums, it's going to be weird going for elites and easies because sometimes I still need to do some wood cutting because it's just AFK and I'll just end up getting like extra hards or mediums. So I don't want to go over the 100, which means that I should probably stop around 80 medium caskets and hard caskets. So that way... When I'm working towards the 100 easies and 100 elites, I'll get some leftover hards and mediums, and then we'll finish it off that way. 30k charges used so far to get, holy shit, like 50 clues, 50 plus clues of each. So 100 clues total across the hards and mediums. 
30k charges or so. So yeah, this Venerable, amazing. There's a shortcut they added this. And when was this? When was this, guys? It definitely must have been when I was on vacation from Hard Clues for the past few years, huh? Damn. Thank you very much. Yeah, we need the we need more of these shortcuts, guys. Honestly, Jags, come on, come on. Make agility more useful. Yo, what the hell is going on over here? What is it that this guy's trading? Chocolate bars? Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, you could sell this in a GE. Four times the profit. I guess that's what these bots are doing. Oh, holy shit. Yo, that's sick. You guys see that? Wow, I just... <laughs> okay, so far I haven't had something this uh, convenient. From literally there to here. And finally, we can talk about the big bad elite clues. These clues are just not easy to stack. They are on a different level of commitment. Absolutely underestimate this goal, but I don't quit easily. So we found ways to speed up the process and get the motivation I needed to pull off the hardest part of this project. Half of my elites came from the good old bossing goals that I normally do. I did a ton of nightmare for the harm warp in preparation for Desert Treasure 2 bosses. Turned out the harm warp wasn't useful. I didn't even get it, but I got the pet and a bunch of elite clues. I also did a bunch of Desert Treasure 2 bosses, which gave me a lot of these as well. Some of the bosses like Raids 1 for Log Slots gave me some as well. So a lot came passively, but ultimately it was too slow to get the elites passively. I would have easily gotten the rest of the clues and only be halfway done if I didn't actively pursue elites another way. So I figured out the perfect plan to double my elite clue acquisition rates. The plan was to do enough barrels to green log and get a bunch of elites in the process. Elites are a 1 in 29 from barrels killing all 6 brothers. Killing less results in worse rates so that's why we kill all 6. I went into detail on this sub grind in my previous video. So if you haven't seen it, you want to see the full 1200 barrows with the modern tank and things like the mysterious lockpicks, link at the top. So yeah, I ended up doing 1200 barrows run starting this project to finish the barrows log. This gave me around 40 elites. I used to get elites quite often when I was AFK Redwoods, like I said, but elite clues seems to have been nerfed since forestry. Or I've gone really unlucky. So I basically got a few elites from skilling only. Oh, clue scroll. Yes, another one. Ooh, this is a record. Record, guys. I've gotten four elite clues today. Uh, two from just bossing and two from barrows in like an hour. Hell yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. We've done over 40 elites now. Let's go. I do want to say this is the worst step in probably all of Cruise Crow history because it literally takes ages. And please make sure that I'm making one at a time and not freaking all of the same thing nice 52 elites ah oh, 48 more to go man nice Ooh, this elite clue from leviathan here check it out this is gonna be a pretty good milestone 60 elites 40 more to go oh elite clue scroll honestly man i think i'm gonna bank dude i just want to do this elite clue brawls finish it off thank you Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Alright, I gotta leave, guys. It's Elite Clue Scroll time. Yes. Shout out Desert Treasure 2 bosses for giving me quite a bit of elites. Oh, just 10 more to go. Not bad, though. That was a pretty good raid. Where's Purple? I did get Elite Clue, though. Which is huge, because right now I am working on a project. It's like, right now I have 98 Elite Clues. I'm trying to get 100. So we're really close. This is the second to last one for the for the stack here. So the enraged barbarian spirit elite clue step is definitely dog doo doo because you gotta use a mango bone every time and getting them sucks. I usually just get them by killing the confused barbarian. But you can actually also pick up the skeleton on the ground as well to get the mango bones. I guess I'll kill the enraged barbarian and loot the skeleton every world. A little bit more convenient. But that covers how I got all my clues. All in all, I started this project right after I finished my first stacking project. So that was almost four months ago or about 120 days. Probably a bit longer because I have to edit this video. This project was done in my spare time and as passively as possible. Anyways, enjoy the opening. Hope we get a third age or something. Holy shit. Alright. You might be asking why I'm excited. 
Uh, well, this is actually the 100th medium casket, guys. No joke. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Boom! 100. Yes. Uh, we're working on the beginners, of course. Just fishing. But yeah, really close. Uh, we'll be working on the easiest next once this beginner's done. Yep. And here we go. We are now at 100 beginners. Pretty ironic considering I've been struggling to get elite clues from redwoods but the 100th elite turned out to be from redwoods so we are now completely done with the elites this is it the last hard clue Alrighty, guys this is 100th hard clue there we go i am gonna get these eight easies now the last easy clue yo look at that yeah, it has 100 beginner, easy, medium, hard, elites. This weekend. We're not going to open the masters because I decided I want to save to 100 for the next project. We're going to start from the easiest tier beginners to the uh, best tier that we have, elites. We got the beginners here looking pretty barren. Still a lot to get. We're going to start with 71 beginners. And by the time we finish this, we're going to be at 172 accidentally opened my first beginner clue but let's open the rest now number 79 oh new item yo let's go new item boys rune skimitar guthix decent start here we got a new item the rune skimitar guthix dang imagine we had this in free to play back in the day 95 oh new item let's go i think we got all the kits now for the uh, skimitars Dang, this looks so nice, man. Oh my god. Oh, we got another item. Let's go. Damn. Oh, new item already. Dude, what the hell? This is such a better stack opening than the first time. That's for sure. Because holy shit, we already gotten four items, bro. What the hell? D8s. Oh, new item. Yes, we got one. I think this might be the last new item, though. Uh, we got the bare feet into the monk's robe. Wow. 68. Oh, new item. What? Dude, that's crazy. We've gotten seven items already. Nah, a pair of shoulders is the best, though. And lastly, okay. Well, that was really good. We, we got almost one unique item every 10 clues. It is time for the easies. All right. Our collection log slot is 771. And here is the easies once again. We're gonna fill so many slots. Watch this. First easy, already a clue slot, I swear. I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. 99. Oh, there it is. Three easies in, and we already got M of the Power trimmed. Alright, this is gonna be triple digit easies. Back to back collection log 106. Oh, what? Team Cape? Yo! This is like better than all the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon card openings I've ever done in my life. <laughs> That's a really rare one. Into another back-to-back? -back? I, I knew it. Bob shirt. Another back-to-back. -back. Dude, back-to-back -back X4. Watch another back-to-back. -back. That'd be hilarious. Another one, dude. Five back-to-back -back clue slots. This is so easy. 114 next into Blue Beret. Very nice. Oh, I forgot to show off the White Beret, too. 115 next. Oh, Master Coup. First one. Wow. With a uh, unique item already. 780. Dude, 20 items away from 800. Okay, we can definitely get it. 123. Oh, was that two items? That might be two. Yeah, that's two. Oh my god, two. Two in one clue. Very cool. Very cool. Look at that. 126. Another Bob shirt. Jeez. 128. Oh my god, that has to be like a triple or something. Oh, baby, a triple! That's crazy. Three collection lock slots in one clue. Nothing. 130. Another Bob shirt. Jeez, I'm getting so many of these. All the people that are struggling to get a Bob shirt for uh, Elite Clues, I'm sorry. 137. Oh, another item. Bronze plate body G. 140. Yes, some black plate body. Uh h5 there it is elegant i think those are pretty rare 152 oh master clue already and seradum rope legs nice 
Oh, we got something. A elegant blouse. Wait, is my character able to wear this? <laughs> oh my god, that looks terrible. I'm gonna have to take that off, but here you go. That's what it looks like. 164. Oh, it mask back to back. Oh, a beret, the red one. 71. Oh, leather body G. Oh, let's go. Upgrade from my studded leather body. Oh, that looks so nice, man. Kit me would have absolutely loved this. Into a back to back. Willow combo, real. Ooh, black kite shield. What? That's an <laughs> iron kite shield T. Oh, okay, I can see yeah, the trim. What's the difference? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, new item. Never mind. One ninety nine. I mean, seven ninety nine. A lot of shields. Is the final one gonna get us this eight hundred? Please tell me. Oh, it didn't. Damn. We've got an insane amount of slots already, so. Alright, the mediums will do it, though. The mediums will get us to 800 for sure. Alright, we begin the medium journey. Here we go, guys. Decent amount of things have been filled. Maybe we can get the wizard boots, manacles, that'd be cool. Complete the boots. What number is this? We're at 431. This is like a big number. The eight. Yes, we did it, boys. I'm waiting for the number to change. 800 slots, man. That is really nice. Oh, yes, finally. Second new slot for mediums. And, oh, there it is. Our third new item. The Mithril Kite Shield trimmed. Oh, there it is. Our fourth new item. 476. Ooh, you can never tell if these H shields are the same or not, but this one's new. H5. 483. Oh, that's a new item. Dang. The elegance are hard to tell, too. Followed by a back to back. Okay, I wasn't expecting back to backs to be possible. Oh, another item. Adamant this time. We got the Adamant. Wait, two? Oh my, that's a double. That's a double cl uh, slot. Nice. 495 is a new item. Let's go. We got the skirt. There's another H H4 this time. H4 shield. Let's see how many H shields we have left. We have one more. We got to get H1, I guess. Oh, wizard boots. Yo, I've always wanted to get one of these from a medium clue. First time getting one, man. First time. Oh, yo, that's sick. Last medium clue, we got something, too. Dude, that's sick. We've gained 13 unique items from 100 mediums, basically. That's like a 1 in 10 still. Very good. Okay, we are taking out the hard stack. Hard treasure trail slots are empty as hell. Oh, man. This is gonna be like... I'm thinking 20, 30 slots just off of this. Not gonna lie. Let's begin. Finally, our first hard clue unique after opening like 20 something, 23. 68, yo, blue DI chaps T. Oh, new item, yay. Number three, rune plate licks G. Oh, yes, enchanted rose. There we go, new items coming in. Yo, new item, let's go, bandos bracers. Oh, Cyclops head. Oh, nice. Saradam install another new item. 819 D. Nice. Room for him. Yo, we got a new item. Pesho. Damn, we're getting a lot now. Oh shit, room play body T as well. Okay, two, two and one clue. Hell yeah. Oh, yo, Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. I'm gonna add that to a Dragon Boot right now. Yes. Wait, new item? Where? When? Ancient Fulham. Oh, oh shit. I couldn't tell. I thought that was a regular room Fulham. Oh, another uh, Saradum and Fulham too. Nice. And a Master Clue. Nice. Okay. That's a lot of slots before we had to do a Master. What? Never mind. I'm not back. I just opened my first one since doing the Master. I just got back to back Master. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what's new? I don't know. Ooh, Kite Shield. Nice. 
15 is a new item. Ancient Coif. Let's go. 516 is another item. Ooh, Armadillo. The high body. I, I love using this item back in the day. On, on this account, actually. Oh my god. No way. Examine the ice shield again. Bullshit. I actually got one of these. Wow. Two of these. Oh, a new item. Room plate lakes T. Let's go. Oh, dual side. Yo. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle right here, boys. <laughs> oh, no, back to back master again, but we got a new item though to go with it. Yo, H3. Another Pastaku and uh, Armadillo Chaps, new item. Prozier, too, new item. Wow, two slots. Oh, new item and Pastaku. Oh, let's go. Well, we got a new item though, Sarah. Didn't play legs. All right, we're at 834. Let's go. 31. Ooh, red D high body trim. Let's go. Oh, new item Zamrak stole. Let's put these on. Looking nice. Looking crimson. 534 runic shield. Nice. That's another one. I think we have two more left. Oh, wait. It isn't? White Cavalier. A nice new item. Nice. Okay. Well, wow. We're still not even halfway. Lots to get. Oh, we got this already, but the bucket helm, though. Another item. Another one. Sarah played skirt. And then the last one. Here we go. I haven't used Badoodle yet. Badoodle. Let's go. And a spin. Oh, okay. Damn. Never mind. No third age from the hard clues. But you know what? It's not over yet. Opening all of these took over six hours from beginners to hearts. And these are all the items we've gotten, all the uniques, but we're not even done. We have friggin' 105 elites open, so. We do have a decent amount of stuff already on the elites. Boys, first one, what we get? Already 46 purple seats from five elites. All right, number 77. Oh, briefcase. Yeah, yeah, first unique item, but unfortunately, it's a dupe. And we get a monocle back to back. Finally, our second unique item, but unfortunately, once again, we already have that. Sixty-four. Oh, yes. First new new item. Yeah, I've only ever gone to 42 at least to get a, a unique slot, man. Wow, that is a little scary. Oh, new item, Dragon's Square Shield Ormic Kit. Yo, second slot now. After 50 elites, we've got our second. Okay, let's see if this is already trimmed or not. Oh, it's not. Yeah, all right. Last thing I wanted to do. There we go. Now we have this trimmed for when we do our occasional master step. Very cool. Oh, Mimic. First Mimic. It's 1 in 220 to get any piece of Dirt Age. I've done 40 though, so I'm nowhere near. We could get lucky. It's always possible. 51. Here we go. Another one. What? Back to back mimics. Holy. Okay. Yes. All right, boys. Let's open this again. Dude, back to back mimic, man. You don't see that often. All right, but doodle then. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, we already have this. Man, light color infinity kit. Well, it's, it's not bad to get multiple of those. Oh, oh my god. Ranger gloves. Yo, that's new. Let's go. Third new item. The dram mass is kind of whatever, but the ranger gloves, though. Oh, damn. 478. It's a mimic. Oh, third mimic. Let's go. I'll keep white fire letters from now on in the event that I get a Phoenix pit one day. All right. Well, number three, I already used my Badoodle. So here we go. Oh, okay. Ran are we? Honestly, that's better than none. Oh, dragon skimitar army. Okay. Hey. We got four uniques now and 38 left. Hit one of these out right this moment. Yo. Oh, wait, what is that? Black D high shrimp. A hey, that's a fifth item. Okay, sweet. I was hoping for like five new items. And we got five new items. What's 30 elites left, so. Oh, 
my god, no way, Gilded Pickaxe. Oh, first Gilded piece in the 500 uh, openings. <laughs> this is like asking mom for a third inch pickaxe, but then she's like, we already have a third inch pickaxe at home, and it's this. 499 is a mimic. Oh shit, a fourth one. Yo, I'll be taking this mahogany plank because it's worth quite a bit. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth mimic today. Hopefully it's good. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, I have 500 blunders. Okay. Is Master Clue. Oh, and Arceus Scarf? Let's see what's already in there. Wow, apparently I could get a lot of those back. Oh, Bucket Helm? Wait, you already got that? No way, I already got that. Oh, it's the Gilded Bucket Helm that I didn't get. Yeah, that's right. Number two. Oh, it's a Mimic. Oh my god, we actually got two more Mimics. Ooh, 73. Let's go. 60, 73 or something. Mimic pet? Yo, imagine there, there was a Mimic pet. That'd be crazy. Oh my god, look at my PB though. 13 seconds, bro. Nice, nice PB. There we go, boys. What? I got a Master Clue from that? <laughs> no, dude. Uh, okay, well, it's not quite over, man. This is like the most milked last elite clue ever. I did get a ton of Masters done from opening these 500 clues, so now we only need 53 more Masters for the next stacking project. And here it is, the final elites. All in. All in, boys. Uh, we'll do a jig, I guess. We'll uh, we'll go with a redemption because we gotta redeem ourselves, right? What? No way! Holy raps! Okay, we did get a unique item, but it's already a uh, dupe, though. But uh, it is a dupe. But these are the stuff that we got from the elites, 105 elites. Some of the best ones are Dragon Skimitar Arm Wicket and the Gilded Pickaxe. All right, guys, let me show you all the stuff that I've gotten from clues. That's counting pre-log as well. Beginners, we have like most of it done. Unfortunately, we did not get third age from the 500 clues score opening, but I do have 100 masters to open in the near future. Half of it done already, so maybe we can get third age then because we're also going to get a bunch of mimics too, which gives the best chance. On the collection lock side, though, we did really, really well. I ended up getting 83 slots, which is basically the most I've ever gotten in one video. So very freaking cool. And I think Clue Scrolls will definitely still give out a bunch the next time I act like this because we still have so many slots to go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, like the video because we put in a ton of work on this one. Like a ton. It took months to prep and get it done. But yeah, otherwise, I'll catch you guys soon with another progress videos, hopefully.